Welcome back to Retrobytes. I screwed up. Uh, bad. <laughs> as bad as you can screw up. I started my morning this morning um, with a live stream. Um, I was going to, uh, you know, start running benchmarks and, and do the comparisons that I wanted to do between the Core 2 Duo um, and the Xeon that I bought to replace it to see if I was doubling my horsepower on the um, motherboard that came in the Goodwill Gaming PC. And um, you have all probably seen by now, if not, um, have a look at my Xeon mod for this motherboard where I cut off the tabs on the socket so that the Xeon processor will fit in there. Um, what that also does is it makes it so that you can install processors the wrong way around, which is exactly what I did on my live stream today. So you may have noticed that I didn't plug in the pump, which is obviously very, very bad. Um, but also shortly after powering on the system, I smelled burning, like I released electrical smoke somewhere. That's not good. What did I do wrong? Oh crap, did I install the CPU wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna take off the cooler and make sure I installed it correctly in the socket. Shoot, I might have just fried this chip. I installed the Core 2 um, chip 180 degrees the wrong way and I blew the thing up. So I'll get a post-mortem started on the motherboard out of the case and get it taken apart and remove the VRM and Northbridge heatsink see what I can find. Alright so here we are the heatsinks removed um, up here's the remains <laughs> of, of uh, evidence of what happened um, so these are the four primary phases for the processor and you can see where smoke was exiting even through these vias on the motherboard so this is not good um, I also smelled around and I'm getting a pretty strong odor from this probably voltage regulator here um, so I'm not sure if that that is dead or not but um, yeah these four phases are definitely gone so given the way the smoke appears to have come out of the vias and the motherboard um, I think that the power planes in the layers have shorted out which means that this motherboard is is a goner nothing I can do all right so here's the back of the motherboard um, you can see the pins on the socket, how they come through here, and you can see how, um, like, there's there's a, a, a divide kind of going horizontally here, where this side down here is power delivery, and the top left side are the data lines. So you can imagine what happens when you flip the CPU 180 degrees. Yeah, I'm still still just kicking myself. I can't believe I can't believe I fried it. Thanks for watching Retrobytes, and uh, I hope you don't all unsubscribe for my folly. And I look forward to your conversations in the comment section below. Take care.